Well, that's a great win for us, and we have a long way to go as a basketball team, but um, learned a lot tonight, have a lot of room for improvement. Um, but it's great to get into an atmosphere like this. I'm so appreciative of the fans for showing up tonight. It was an incredible atmosphere. Um, we have a lot of respect for Baylor. They're so well coached, and they're such a tough team, and it was a real, real test for us tonight. So our hats are off to Baylor. I know they'll have a great season, but really proud of our players. Uh, it, it was a very, very uh, poor start to the game, and uh, we came back and really played a tough 20 minutes there in the second half, and uh, I'm very proud of them, and uh, we have a lot to learn, but this is uh, a, a, a fun game to play in, and it was a great atmosphere, and we're, we're just so tickled that we were able to win. Questions for Coach? Coach, after Jen missed her first 10 three-pointers, was there ever any doubt in your mind that she was going to make that 11th one? No doubt um, that I was going to tell her to continue to shoot. Uh, you know, I, I don't know whether they're making, they're, whether they're going in or not. I'm cheering for every one of them uh, to go in. And uh, a lot of them look good. And um, that's what we have to do. Jennifer O'Neill, the, the offense, transition offense, was creating wide open, clean looks from the three. And if you don't make them, you don't make them. But that kid makes shots, and uh, I, I just continue to tell them in the huddle, and I continue to tell her. Uh, we are creating, the, the, the transition was creating exactly what we were wanting it. Uh, they were running back to a pack lane, and we were shooting rhythm, wide open rhythm, three-point shots. And you have to, our offense, we have to shoot that shot. And Jennifer is a great shooter, and has been shooting the ball great, and so, uh, I was happy. I, I, I don't have any. I'm not keeping up that stuff. You know, I have no idea if she's missed them, made them. I'm just coaching every play. And, and um, I, I was telling her every time out to keep shooting the ball. So it, at no point do you say she's oh for something. We need to get the ball to somebody else. Do you just always want her to shoot those? If the offense creates a wide open three in rhythm for Jennifer O'Neill, she cannot turn that down. Uh, it just that that's that's how our team's built. We, we try to wear you down. We try to run you back. I think you started to see us get some wide open, clean looks there at the end of the game. I think um, it, it was producing it. So she's um, clearly one of our best players, one of our most talented players. And call me crazy, but that's just how we're going to play. And, and she is a fantastic player. And she may make 9 of 11 on Wednesday morning. You just don't ever know. But you just got to trust what you do, and that's what we do. We shoot transition threes, and uh, if the offense creates it. We took some bad shots in the first half. Clearly, it was a, a, a poor, poor performance. A lot of jitters, I guess, very l lacking in focus. We, I mean, at halftime, I, I just I, I, I said, I don't know what you folks are doing out there. I mean, I have no idea what's going on in your mind, but we don't have a real complicated system here, and, and we needed to start settling down and, and, and showing some poise, and I thought they did a much better job in the second half. Coach in the back. Very back. Uh, Coach Mulkey didn't think that the crowd played much of a factor for them. I can't imagine you would feel the same way as for your girls. Yeah, I, for us, it was fantastic. And, you know, when, when you are emotionally down, when you're playing um, not well and, and, and you're sort of, um, you know, clearly discombobulated, and 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 we, I thought, were were lacking energy and emotion there. The, as we were starting to decline in the first half, there's no question for us. Once we started playing with some energy, and the crowd responds, it just it 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 pumps you up. And and I think that it's, uh, I think it was a great advantage for us tonight for our our players. I never can speak to what what's going on with the opponent, but for us, it was a huge lift. And what a, you know, just just so grateful to to work at a place like this where people care, and on a Monday night where it just is the worst weather ever, uh, they show up and it's 20,000 people, and I, I just you just have no idea how how grateful and blessed we all are to to play at a place like Kentucky. This is just unbelievable. It was an unbelievable night.
If I could speak to Matt, you mentioned a marketing major as well as the head coach. What did this do for the product tonight, this crowd, and especially this kind of game, the, the way it ended? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know how Baylor feels, but as I was looking at it, it looked like all the hard work that we've done uh, played a factor in the last 10 minutes of the game. So, you know, our brand is to play really up-tempo and to be very disruptive. And, um, you know, we forced 24 turnovers and scored 50 points and a half. I, I think it does a lot for the brand. I mean, the brand is uh, you come here, you're, gonna, you're going to have an opportunity to every day work on being a great person. We're going to emphasize uh, being a high-character person and, and being a principle-based person and making sacrifices for each other and, and being people of great preparation. And um, if you want to come and turn it loose and shoot after you've missed 10 in a row and your coach still tell you to shoot, then come to Kentucky. It's a place to go. And, I mean, we're going to try to have some fun and get out there and run up and down the court and make some plays. So I would say it's probably a good night for the brand. I don't know. It's just me talking, though, the marketing major. Matthew, you have a good blend of underclassmen, upperclassmen, but you've got some – some young players that don't seem afraid at all to be out there. I'm talking about uh, Alyssa Rice. She looked like she's ready to play at this level. I mean, in this kind of a game. Michaela Epps, of course, showed a lot of uh, leadership out there. Mm -hmm. In the second half, you know, I think you saw what we can possibly, you know, start evolving into. And I would agree with you about Alyssa Rice. And, and it looks like you're never going to be able to look at the box score and tell a whole lot about her right now. But you have, um, as you observed, and I'm sure all of you, she was huge in the second half just with her physical play on the boards. And she didn't get all the rebounds, but she kept some of the big kids from, from Baylor getting them. And she played with a lot of tenacity. And we have a very... Uh, we have the makings of a very good team. We are a long, long way away, as you can see in the first half, of being what we need to be. We're turning the ball over uh, way too much. But, you know, we turned it over 19. We need to get it down to 14. We, we will address that. You know, Asia Bishop turned it over four times. She, we'll, we'll, we'll get that, those things corrected. Uh, but it's just a process. And, and um, just the way the schedule hits us now, we don't have a lot of practice time. So we've got to make the most of, of, of our time here and try to get a little bit better uh, and see if we can win some games while we're still learning. But this, that's why this one's so big and so, you know, so such a great win that will still show up at the end of the season. Baylor's not a finished product. We're not a finished product. So um, it was great to be able to win while we're still learning. Coach, talk about Michaela Epps' game. I mean, it was huge for her in the second half, pulling down all the rebounds. And she looked fired up after every single possession. She loves Kentucky. She loves playing here. It means a lot to her. That's why I love having Kentucky kids on the team. And it's no disrespect to the other kids. They love it, too. But, but you know, she got down there and checked the floor a couple times. And, I mean, it's just a little bit different for her. She was very, very fired up. And that was a good thing. She played the point. She played the wing and the post tonight. So she's a very, very versatile player and was uh, impactful in, in all areas. And um, she's only scratching the surface of what she can become. As you can see, first half, very tentative, very passive not aggressive and um, she changed that around give I give our team a lot of credit because because I'm telling you it was not good in the first half as you all could see it, it was it was disjointed there was no rhythm there was no focus offensively there was no execution it was very very poor and so we have a lot of room to grow we can get a lot better than we need to thanks, coach. thanks everybody